All right, we've been hearing all this noise. This yes. sizzle, sizzle, which good. started out as is an old-time food truck at a motorcycle hangout in 1983. is now one of the best barbecue joints in our area. Dinosaur Barbecue has been serving its St. Louis-style mm. ribs and signature sauce for 30 years. So we'd love to welcome the owner and pitmaster John Stage this morning. Welcome. Well, well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. This looks and smells fantastic. What are we, what are we going to be making today? <laughs> we got a lot of food here. Yeah. We got ribs, we got brisket, we got pulled pork. Mm. But right here is our skirt steak okay. mm -hmm. that we're, we're demoing right now. What we did is we took the skirt steak, we rubbed it. I would just, one's cooking right here, so right. I'm going to show you what we did before that. We took our red rub and then we. Pretend this is an outdoor grill. Okay. Because um, th this whole thing is about outdoors. Right. We smoked and grilled the tomatoes, the avocado, mm. and the onions. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the accompaniment to the steak. Okay. Oh, okay. So yes. how long do you cook the shirt steak? Well, to right about there. I'm going to oh, say okay. about that. <laughs> no, because I make skirt steak probably uh, once a week uh -huh. on the stove in my apartment because I don't have a grill. Uh -huh. But, I mean, so you you press it to figure out when it's done because that's yeah, a good like, tip. Yeah, like right there. You see how it gives? Right. That's about medium, medium rare. Oh, and I okay. like to cook skirt steak between that. Right. Because it's, uh, it's, it's a rougher cut of meat. It's very flavorful, but it's... It to need, cook it right. Yeah, you don't want this rare. Right. This so you want to one. chop it up for us? Well, we're going to slice that. <laughs> Usually I'd like to let this rest just a little okay. bit, but mm -hmm. we can't do that, that right now. And just slice it. Then we're going to put that salsa together. Okay. Yeah, how do you, what do you, what do you need Cindy to do here, John? <laughs> all right, well, this is, uh, this is perfect. <laughs> Hold on one second, let me do this. So, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little of this chipotle sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so this is going to give it a little kick. That gives it a lot of kick. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to hit it with uh, the juice of one. Ooh, Ooh that's I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> Life TV. There you go. It's okay. Juice of one lime. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hit it with some, um, this is some smoked paprika, some cumin, a little salt and pepper. And then we're just mix that just up. Just mix right it up? There. Yeah. And a reminder, this is just roasted tomatoes, avocado, and onion? Yes. Okay. You can. Uh, this is actually a smoked tomato, oh. which you can also do at home. Oh. Uh, just put it on your grill, put some wood chips, mm -hmm. and then close your top, and then you get that smoked flavor to it. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, then you just, um, let me see, I'll fan that out a little bit. <laughs> and this goes great with some uh, some tortillas. Yeah, I was going to say, is this good for good oh, for it's, fajitas? It's fantastic for that. Now you have a new recipe for your weekly skirt. I do. Steak. I know. I do. <laughs> and this is we really just love easy. Steak. Yeah. No. For sure. All yeah, right. And that's really, that really is the dish right that there. Good. That looks delicious. Yeah. I'm looking for some forks. Oh in the yeah. Meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, tell us a little. You have your ribs, your signature ribs. Yes. Yes, we do. These uh, have been smoked about four hours. Um, unfortunately, very early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they still look delicious. <laughs> yeah, they've been uh, they've been sitting around for a and minute. You have your sliders and over then here. We have, yes, the brisket sliders, the pulled pork sliders. Oh, yeah. okay. And then all the accoutrements that go that go with it. Mm -hmm. What yes. is what is so you guys have been around now for thirty years? Congratulations! Yes, we're hitting thirty years. What is the secret? Do you think to your longevity? Uh, I think consistency and persistence. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, um, um, being around that long, uh, yeah. you've seen a lot, mm -hmm. seen a lot of changes, but you know, just keep forging ahead. But I think it's our consistency, and and we really. Take care of the product. Yeah. What's your biggest tip for uh, people barbecuing at home? Because there's going to be a lot of that going on. Mm -hmm. um, well, start with a good quality piece of meat. Okay. You just, it, if you don't, there's nothing you're going to do to be able to make that good. Yeah. Yeah. Can, oh. I, ask you, <laughs> can, I, can I ask you a question? Yes. Have you found that the people that, that, that love you are mm -hmm. being more adventurous in some of the tastes they want to experience? Oh, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. Because yes. that what you just made there seemed very spicy right but people want more heat now don't they you know without a doubt without a doubt yes I that is a very big trend mm -hmm. you know I do forget the cilantro on this. Mm. See? <laughs> yeah, I forgot that yeah well, let's get that and, and John wait but what I'm watching Delicious. this, this oh is God. kind of a nice marriage of health yep. and mm -hmm. spice I mean mm -hmm. there's a lot of healthy ingredients mm -hmm. in this in addition to the to the you know the flavor and the heat you bring right? yeah 